I'm gonna make my intention something to do with violence. Oh, <gasps> what? Is that what I think it is? Violence. I said violence oh. was my intention. What's up, adventurers? How is everybody doing today? I'm really excited right now because we're going to try something that we've never tried before. This is going to be pretty epic. We decided it would be fun if we did a randonautica, okay? And then, wherever it takes us, if there's water, of course there has to be a body of water. If, if there's not water at the first place that it takes us, we're just obviously going to do another one. But I think it would be really fun to go magnet fishing where Randonautica leads us. What do you think, Lise? Great idea, Jen. Let's do it. I'm thinking about maybe having a darker intention today, though. I've never done that. Uh, maybe once, but... I usually try to keep it a little bit light. I'm going to make my intention something to do with violence. Violence. Mm. That's dark, right? Right? You're scaring me. We're going in and it's going to be awesome and we're taking you guys with us. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we've actually been to this destination before, which is crazy. Um, but we've never been down here to this area. It's a pretty big park. So I'm very surprised that it brought us here, actually, of all the places that it could take us where we are. Um, let's check it out and see where the best place to... Oh, at least look, there's a dock. Oh, perfect. And that is perfect. The water is close. And of course there's water. Yeah, so this is awesome. Well, look at the pretty flower. Oh, look. That water level is almost <laughs> up to the dock. Wow, that's crazy. Night. All right, she is reeling her in. Got some tension on your line, don't you? Looks a like bit. a little tension down in the deep area. Whoa. Wouldn't it be crazy if an alligator grabbed a hold of my line? Uh, it can happen because they like to grab splashing objects. It just felt like something pulled on it. I wouldn't doubt it. This is perfect alligator weather with this kind of rain. Wow. What the heck? Did you see that? Yeah. Tug. Look, I got a big one. What the freak? It sounded like something had it, didn't it? Yeah, it looked like it. I only could have let go. Ooh, oh, what the heck? What a nail? What is that? Oh, a screw or something. Wow, this is crazy. It has barnacles on it. It does. It's let's probably off of a ship or something. Let's throw it back in. That was pretty cool. Let me get back. <laughs> yeah. Lisa, as you guys know, has some metal in her leg from our last video. We don't like to get her anywhere near the magnet, guys, because can you imagine? No. If this can pull <laughs> this out uh -uh. of what I'm guessing was a plank of wood, just imagine what would happen to her leg if this magnet got anywhere near it. Good luck detaching. Yeah, that would be horrible. You'd have to have like surgical... This detachment. is not good for people that have any artificial metal parts. Yeah, not at all. Nice. How deep do you think that is? You can't tell or... I can't really tell. I don't know. Like the rope disappears pretty well. Sure, it sinks all the way down. I mean, Jen is on the move here with her adventure to find our randonautic intention look of. Look at these ants. What was our randonautic intention? Look at these ants. Violence. Okay, our randonautica intention was violence. So we're here at this deep, dark water creek with a magnet as well. 
So we'll see what the combination yields. Jen says there's a ton of ants over here. Probably because the water level is up. They're creeping up here. It's very hot and humid today. Anything? Nothing really on this one. Yeah. You want to throw it another angle? Yeah. Okay, she's going to move. I think yeah, I wouldn't get in that corner. Maybe you need to move. Where? Oh, away from the right ants. Here? Yeah, and away from me. Okay. Bye. Let's try it here. Watch your magnet. All right, I'm going over. Watch I'm, the leg. I'm not going to stand in the ants, but I'm not going to stand, stand near the magnet. Okay, All right, guys, hang on. Here she goes. That was a good one. Nice. Guys, look at this dark, dark water today. I guess the rain made it, the mud stirred up. It is so dark in here today. Yeah, last time we were here, we actually did a live stream. If you guys remember, it was actually down that way a little ways. Mm -hmm. Right, there was a fishing pier um, down in another area of this park. Just watch you're not leaning against that too much because there are I'm tired, there's giant ants oh. everywhere. Look, here's one. Look Where? Here's one right here. Oh, look, guys. Huge. These are, what are these called? Fire ants? I don't know. Huge biting ants Those in Florida. Different. If you see the, that's why we don't go barefoot. Even flip flops, they will get you. They will tear your foot up. It and, looks like a piece of. And it blisters. Rumpers. Wow. It's caught on something. She's got something here. Did you see that? Pull it again, let me see. Oh yeah, that's some major, look at this tension, guys. It's like, here it comes. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Maybe I'll try it from over here, on the land. Like the shallower. <laughs> you never know what might be hiding under these docks. Wow, this stock is sketch because there could be anything under here. As we saw in Savannah's video, her little alligator albino friend liked to crawl under that little dock she was, and that was in a safe zone. So apparently they like to crawl under docks. I'm going to go ahead and try from here because I like the dock, but the problem with the dock is when you're pulling it up, I'm afraid if I do catch something, it's going to knock it off. So I'm trying from the shore here for a couple times. Let's see what, let's see what we get. Plus Lisa can have a better angle on me. How do you like my angle, Lisa? Nice angle, Jen. <laughs> nice splash, Jen. All right. Let's see what we got here, guys. Ooh. Yeah, that's a different area. It is definitely a different area. There's really some tension on there. Mm hmm Like when you feel it dragging across the rocks, it's a really weird sensation. Really? Like you feel everything. It's really weird. I can't describe it. Feels like I might have had something in it and I dropped it. Oh. That's weird. I'm gonna have to try to throw it out there in the exact same spot and see if I can get it again. Whatever it was, it felt like it was a little heavy. Oh, I saw some ripples. What's those ripples? Bubbles. Uh, <gasps> Look at the bubbles. Freak? Exposing I'm something right under there. throwing it out there again guys I, I had something I don't know what it was but I definitely had something wouldn't it be something if I could pull it up whatever it was it felt pretty big oh no oh, what happened I your on foot my... oh she caught it on her foot. Don't step on your foot it's all around your feet 
I noticed. See, this is dangerous. Which she... Yeah, don't, whatever I'm doing here, don't do this. Don't have a rope around your feet when you toss. Don't do this. It was definitely too close. I, I know I didn't catch something with that. No. Nah. All right. Let's try this again without getting ourselves... Entanglement is real here. Tangled up in our rope. All right, let's try this. Are we good? Just stay away from me. Are we clear? Something's happening in here. All right, let's see if we can do this now. Ready, guys? I'm trying to really get it out there. Yes! Nice. That was a good one. Feeling lucky. Maybe we'll snag the thing that we had a minute ago. Oh, see some bubbles out there. Whoa, I heard something on the shore. What is that floating out? I don't know if that's almost looks like an alligator, but it might be a stick. That is crazy. What is going on? This water level is so sketch because there's like ripples over there, like there might be gators. And you can't tell because the water is so dark. But see this floating object? It may be just a stick, but that is mimicking a gator or a snake. That is crazy. I don't like, that's why we don't like dark water. I just heard a big splash. I, did I keep hearing it. See out there? Doesn't it look like a gator, but it might is be. Is it? I don't know. Looks like a gator head. It sure does. Right? Uh, Doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. It might be a pom pom. Oh, maybe. Just make sure it's not moving towards me because I'm, I'm. No, I it. mean, I'll keep an eye on it, but. I mean, it, it really does look like the gator head. It sure does. I'm going to keep my eye on that bad boy. Got some tension on Feels that. Feels like I might have gotten it, guys. I see tension. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it really, really slow. The thing is really bubbling. Okay. <laughs> Man, that really is pulling. Look at this rope, guys. I'm always afraid, like if I if I pull too hard, it's gonna like whatever's attached, it's gonna pull it off, and I have a feeling. That's why I don't catch things normally because I feel like I'm reeling it in too fast and I lose it. So I'm gonna have to what learn. What is that? Oh, bird. I'm Whew. gonna have to learn patience <laughs> with this. I, I'm like that. I get excited. I do the same thing when I'm actually fishing, and uh, I end up losing my fish a lot of times because I get so excited. Just checking the gator head over there or whatever that is. <laughs> it seems like it's taking forever. The anticipation is killing me, guys. Okay, while we're waiting, she's still pulling in a couple feet of rope. Oh, these ants are crazy. Ugh, I'm afraid I'm going to get bit. Got something? Yes. What? I gotta watch these hands. Hang on. Let me get your. Oh. <gasps> what? Is that what I think it is? Was that hooked on there on that pole? That's what it was. Look. What is it? Oh. It's a freaking it's a axle. Tool. Yes, it oh is. God. It's probably rusted too. It looked all the dirt all over it. Okay, this is scary. Can you get it off of there? Oh, be careful. It's Ugh. got probably a nice blade. Careful. You don't have any gloves. Whoa. Guys. Whoa. Okay, this is crazy, guys. Violence! I said violence oh. was my intention. Oh, shoot. That could be used for violence. You're right. It's not just for carpentry. Uh, wow. I mean, let's just hope it was. And I don't know why it would be out here, though. Like, why would anybody throw that in, in water? Hmm. <gasps> I wonder if there's anything in the trash can. I mean, who knows how long that's been here. Right. Like, just, it's empty today. Okay. Wow. Okay. Whoa. I don't 
Randonautica reports <laughs> violence in a hacksaw. I'm kind of getting scared now, guys. Oh, yeah. Like, what if the person comes back? They might, because, you know, they might be like, oh, shoot. Well, I don't know. Right. I'm going to throw it out one more time, guys. I think, I, I, I don't know. I might have to stand back here. These ants are really bad on that deck. Let's throw it in one more time. Just stick away from me. I'll videotape you from here. I was That ant was really close to me. I mean, I don't know that we're going to get anything more that has to do with violence. Than I that, don't know. That's pretty... That's pretty crazy. I told you, like, and that last night with that storm, like, who knows what stuff washed down this river. Nice. And I'm telling you, it's it's been catching on stuff. It's Maybe it kind of dragged and you didn't see it, then it that's you know, possible. yeah, because I it, tried to throw it back in the same spot again. And you dropped it. Right. That's possible. It or possible. caught on you know, might have caught on a rock. That's possible too. Yeah. You never know what's in here. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you what Some it's sketch. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I mean... What are you supposed to do with things? I could use a hacksaw. You could? <laughs> I'm going to repurpose Hey, it. you can put a new blade on them, right? That's true. Yeah, I don't want no blood on my blade. Yeah, you don't want that. I mean, it could be perfectly innocent, but it it's weird that the Rananatica was violent. There's a bee flying around here. We gotta get out. These ants and uh, these bugs are out of control. I think it's post storm. It's very humid today. Hot. These clouds up here, guys. See, it's probably gonna rain again. Look, it feels like it's got something again. Oh, really? And then it just got, got flat. See, look. Yeah. That is tension. Ah, I lost track when we were <laughs> looking at the saw. I guess, I guess we're safe from that. Unless he's under the dock. back to the fact that we just found a hacksaw so I'm trying to like fill it up with a little bit of happy <laughs> that's a very dark Ooh. when you're walking past that stuff in the store do you ever once imagine like that's gonna be used in a murder no you really don't because we don't think like that no but there are people that go to the store with that purpose to purchase those things you're Isn't right that insane? Like, that, that blows my mind. it's the whole uh, rope duct tape and garbage bag scenario yes. <laughs> Yes. On every movie, Lifetime movie, or Netflix, I don't know, horror movie, whatever. It's crazy that people, like, think of it. I yeah, know. they, I know. I can't wrap my head Who has time for that, I always say. That's if you're... why most of the time we do the happy stuff, the light stuff, I don't know. I do love the haunted stuff, I do love the randonautica stuff, guys, but it can get to you sometimes. But if you guys enjoy these videos, be sure to let us know, because we'll do it again. I thought it was a pretty cool idea doing the randonautica and the magnet fishing combo. And we are going to very soon be testing out Jody's app, Scaranoia, and Omar's app, Intentions. So it might be a fun idea to do a combo video with their apps too. You know, we could do the magnet fishing with their apps. See how that works out. That would be fun. I don't know, guys. I think that might be the only thing we're going to pull out of here today. Well, we got two things. We got that screw. That yeah, off. right. So we are all finished magnet fishing today, guys. This was pretty intense. Like this was definitely an experience and 
I'm glad we did it. I think it's safe to say we probably will be doing the Randonautica with the magnet fishing again. I thought I heard something. I know, I keep hearing things. I legit heard a footstep behind me. I just heard it again. All right. Well, anyway, we're getting ready to head out of here now. Is probably the perfect timing because, like I said, I keep hearing things behind me. So uh, I'm gonna just jump in here. Guys, do you think it's a coincidence that we happened upon the forensics unit right after we found a hacksaw? That sounds like it has to do with the Randonautica. That's really trippy. That is trippy. I've never seen one of those vans. Have you? No. Okay. It's That's right ahead of us. Pretty crazy. <laughs> that is not even normal. I think, uh, what were you telling me, Lisa, about bringing the saw home? Oh, yes. I don't think we should take it in the house. I think, I don't know, I need to maybe do a spirit box or something. I don't know. I, I kind of have What a great idea. Yeah. Let's do a spirit box session. Good idea. And see what the spirits can tell us about the saw. What an awesome idea. Let's do that. We're going to do that when we get home, guys. Okay guys, so we are back at the house now. The hacksaw is out in the car. Lisa would not, she wasn't having it. She's like, nope, nope. We're gonna do a spirit box session first. We're gonna see if it's safe to bring that thing in the house. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it was free, so, you know. Free, that's not a problem. Yeah, you can't ever turn down yeah, something free. You pulled it out of a dirty river. Gosh. I mean, I'm not worried about the river so much as I am about what was on it previously to being thrown in the river. Right. All right, well, you know, there's only one way to find out, guys. There's only one way. Now, by the way, if you guys do enjoy this spirit box session or any of our others, if you haven't seen any of our other paranormal videos, be sure to go check those out. We're going to be getting back into doing those again shortly. And, I mean, we're doing one right now. We're getting ready to reach out to the spirit world. So if you enjoy that and you'd like to do it yourself, use the apps responsibly. But they are available down here below this video in the description. So be sure to check it out. There are two different spirit boxes that we do use. Right now we're getting ready to use one. Um, I believe this is the second one and the option. So let's do it and let's ask the spirits. Hello, spirit world. <coughs> did it say hacking? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, did you say hacking? All right, I feel like I need to turn the volume up a little bit. I, I already thought I had it all the way up. Here we go. This is all the way up. It's going to be loud. <laughs> hacking. It said hacking. Oh, wow. All right, let's just get right into it. Let's just get right into it. Was this hacksaw used in a violent crime? <laughs> Saul. Saul. Yes. So what I need to know is, can you tell us, was this hacksaw used in a murder? Blood. Blood. Whoa. Glad we didn't bring it in here. Ew. I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. Okay. Just because something was used in a violent crime doesn't mean there was a murder committed. It doesn't mean that. Like. Y'all know you've seen the mobster movies where they'd be cutting off like a finger or a toe. Like, I've seen that before. Right? Yeah. It happens. Ugh. It does happen. I've never seen it happen personally before, but I'm, I'm sure it happens all the time. So let's find out what body part. Oh my goodness. We're going, we're going dark side, guys. Can you tell us which body part was taken off with this saw? <coughs> All? Uh, All? <laughs> Was the person decapitated? Yes! <gasps> oh. Can you give us a name? Wow, so much is coming through right now, guys. It's it's a little intense, isn't it? Yes. It's a bit overwhelming at times. That's why we haven't 
been doing as many paranormal videos. It, it really does dream you. But we love it, guys. We absolutely love doing this paranormal stuff. And we have a connection. I feel like we have a connection to the spirit world. I don't know, guys. Like, I, I feel like we've got enough answers. Like, I feel like this is sufficient to just say that, mm -hmm. you know, definitely the saw was used in some sort of a crime. I, I'm not going to say 100% it was murder. I'm not going to say that, you know, somebody was cut up, you know. Although it kind of does sound like it from what the spirit world is telling us. Yeah, I mean, they're cluing you in something, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> and, and the thing possible. is, like, sometimes you'll hear one thing mm -hmm. from the spirit world, and it'll actually mean something else. That's like, true. for instance, it could say cut, and it could mean maybe the person that was using it accidentally cut themselves. Right. You, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. No, there's no 100%. You know, I, I mean, that's just what, you know, like, I could have a conversation with Lisa. It's kind of like the telephone game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, something could get changed just slightly in translation. It's the same thing with the spirit world. That's no different. That's right. So, you know, I think that's going to be it for this video. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. Man, it was crazy. Like, I am still in disbelief. I, I cannot believe we found a freaking hacksaw while magnet fishing. And we were led there by Rananautica. Right. That. <laughs> right. <laughs> unbelievable i mean any any words i don't want to say any last words that doesn't sound right <laughs> but given the situation uh, well it was a lot of fun and we hope you guys enjoy it i mean we do enjoy it it's it, i when we were going there i was like here we go on the dark side because there's so much <laughs> other things i think of but you know what it's true it's like an adventure in a way it's it's a, it's just like you just never know and right. um you know what why not we hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. We love you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for all the prayers for Lisa, even though it happened over a year ago. We were just now able to put out the video. But thank you guys all for watching. Thank you all for, you know, all your kind words and encouragement and support. Lisa is far from finished with this leg. She still has to have surgery. Maybe we can use the hacksaw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Me under the just kidding. Wow. Just kidding. You know, wow. you what know, is, I love it. What you. is this, 1800? I'm serious? Really? We'll make you go to a Civil War uh, <gasps> site next with it. We should go to a Civil War hospital. Because they did use hack holes. Sadly, but true. They have them down here, as, you know, in Florida. I know they do. Okay, guys. <laughs> we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.